Let's take a look at Fungal Pass and see how bad, bad it's going to be. Of course, I don't remember. This is Fungal Pass. Oh, this is Fungal Pass. You know, I'm going to operate under an assumption of kind of extreme confidence. I'm going to go get some flyers. Okay, so you want to make flares. To make flares, we need silicon. graphite. Alright, really? Oh, it won't let me build anymore because I think we're maxed out. But that's fine. Okay, so this will make us a small amount of flares. Which will get us a small amount of the flying jets. Oh gosh, we're getting attacked for 20 waves. So... Okay, and there's, there is plenty of coal left on this map. down. That should be all of those. Seems like my biggest issue is just kind of with my coal supply. So let's increase it dramatically. There we go. That increases our graphite production tremendously. I realize there's a less sloppy way of doing this. I just have to decide how much it's worth my care. So truly, the other big issue is just an absolute lack of water going into this system. Because it's supposed to go this way. Whoops. What are we doing power-wise? We're doing less good than we were previously.
Okay, let's hook that up. That there. Okay. Should be more water. I'm going to try and avoid overtaxing my power supply. Let's get a distributor here. Okay. So the big issue is just through putting enough coal. But I think at this point we're probably fine. Actually, it looks like the other big issue is just getting sufficient sand. Ah. if I do a distributor right there. It's not as pretty, but that should kind of help. Boy, howdy. This is ugly. We're gonna, we're gonna need to go wipe out the other side. Okay. Well, grand scheme of things, I think this area is pretty solid. I'm just gonna leave them here. I'm I'm really hoping we don't take any damage. I might I might have to actually start taking out some of these enemy bases after this one. Oof. Luckily, I don't think anything's getting through here, like ever. Do I want to... Do I want to get a couple of these? I might as well. I just want to leave this largely without any gaps. I realize they're probably better guns. that I could start using at about this point. Let's see, is that right? There we go. Okay, so no flyers are going to at least cross this gap. So I guess the next order of business is maximizing the amount of lag that I'm getting out of this entire area. Okay. Yeah, I was really hoping I'd, I wouldn't have to go through the process of it attacking my enemies yet. I don't know. Not quite in the mood for that again. I'll do it gladly, but it's, it's time consuming. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of slap something together here. And then I'll make some kind of like weird centralized slag furnace right in the middle of this. A little bit here. Unfortunately, my 
buddy bots. I love them to death. <laughs> They're always in my way. Okay, this should be good. That there. There we go. Oh, not quite powered. So now how do we... Well... I think... I think what we do is give up on any sense of order, full chaos, because in retrospect, I can probably sp spread these things out just a smidge. Reason being, this way I can at least figure out what the hell is going on. This ain't gonna be pretty. Oh, damn it. If I spread them out this way, then it's a lot easier to figure out, like, what the heck is even going on. Okay. There we go. Does mean we don't have... Maybe honestly keeping them clustered together like I did was better. Because this is actually just harder to look at. Yeah, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna stack them up. There we go. So we want to get some overflows. Okay, so it looks like... I guess it makes sense. You want to have twice as many... Or... You want to have sets of three. Perfect. Copy and paste. I think that should be functional. Delete that. And let's actually start getting some lines up in here. Oh, this one... This one's not getting any... Any agua. There we go. Who knows if this is going to work out as smoothly as I'd like it to. 
It should. Okay, there we go. Lock these there. The interesting thing is, I probably don't even need that other side. Maybe I do. Put it into the junctions. Okay. This is probably fine. Could be better. Could be worse. I'm, I'm just gonna make do, because it's more important that we're maximizing the amount of scrap that we're using. than it is to actually do this right. Yeah, I get the distinct feeling. This ain't gonna be enough. All right, there we go. Nope. Okay, you're not actually getting... Oh, well. For starters, didn't connect to this guy. Then... This guy ain't get, get enough space. So I think I'm just gonna do that. Don't bother with more of these. You know what? If it's just single bits, I'm going to skip the inclusion of water. Sector 41's under attack. Boy, they don't like me right now. Okay, well, we're getting at least a little bit more slag up in this process. Sector 41, where the hell are, uh, is that this one over here? God damn it. Okay, so the answer is 20 waves of this. Might be okay. The only problem is this doesn't have any titanium. And everything is slow as hell. Okay, well... I guess I'm just going to have to bop between 10% damaged. Whew, that's bad. It's a good thing I came back to peak. Okay, I'm just going to get two little menders here to hopefully handle that. 13 more waves here. Well, it's holding out. Take a look at the nuclear production. Boy, howdy. Let's take a look. How are we doing? I have just enough surge alloy. I still want to look into getting the meltdown instead. No, what I want to get is the nucleus core.
First question, can I build it? Nope. Oh, you know? This area is not even... Not even uh, outputting. I'm for some sloppy work. Okay. Uh, you know what? back in here, bridge conduits. Longer bridge conduit. There we go. Okay. My logic is... It's actually hit a deadlock. Oh. Because we're, we're finally capped out. This is good. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to scale it up. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. We don't need this much. But, now we can use it. Okay. So next up, let's go over here. I'm going to move the slag down this way. extra liquid tanks because I'm gonna I want to empty the slag out of these pipes perfect okay so the reason why I want to do this is because we have one more industry item that is the disassembler, right? Slag into Wait, does this require Does this require scrap as well? Oh, it does. Okay, so in that case, instead of wasting the extra industry from this, let's rip all this up.
Just let this continue on as normal. Okay, I guess I guess this one will just connect, because trying to get that out of there is going to be a nightmare. Okay, so we want to make... A disassembler. Oh, which requires surge alloy, which we are now out of. Balls. Oh, I guess I'm just... I'm gonna have to wait. Alright, let's just... Bounce between 9% damage. Let's double check. Looks like they just punched the wall here again. Okay. Biggest fear is it going to hit my plastanium. Okay, one way or another we're going to have to probably peace out on this location. Or I'm going to have to start attacking these. As, as soon as nuclear production complex is done, we're going on the offensive. Okay, Windswept Islands, how much do you have? Not much. What was the other one that was under attack? 41. 0% damage. So it looks like uh, 41 is kind of handling it. I wonder if I attack them directly. Tarfields? It's Tarfields. Okay. Main issue here is titanium. I can scale that up. Yeah, we, we might as well scale up as much as possible so I can actually use the Surge. Junk as much as I possibly can. Okay. Never did actually use the oil production on this map. We saw it and we're like, okay, that's cool. And then I kind of forgot it existed. Actually, what I want to do... Let's just bring it here. Okay, there we go. Oh, right. Big issue, of course. Need power. There we go. We've got plenty of water. Shockingly? We have plenty of water just from all this. I'm just going to operate under the assumption that I'm going to run out. And put in like two rotary pumps up here. Just in case. Okay, there we go. So now these are about as capped out as I'm going to be able to get them. I think that'll do. I'd like to scale it up further, but we have shit that I have to be afraid of. Okay, so this area is looking fine. Fungal Pass. Fungal Pass is big. Oh, gosh. 
Fungal Pass is... Oh, right, of course. Biggest issues. Yeah, that's fine. They're not coming back. I didn't realize that it's right in the landing zone. Okay. Biggest issue is just I don't have a very good spot to defend from. I guess next order of business, if I wanted to be silly... And when don't I? Is let's just uh let's just have a secondary section here. Okay, slap these around. Let's see, how's power looking? Power's actually in the negatives now, so we, we're going to have to look into that. Okay. That there. Honestly, considering these probably don't use a whole lot of water... Maybe if I just have a bunch of routers down. Okay. Yeah, my, my thoughts with this are... They're going to attack me from many angles. Get rid of that one. give them just less of an opportunity to do so. Okay, next up. Seeing as we need power, we need, not thermal, combustion, steam generators. enough. Okay. Oops. Place these properly so they line up. There we go. Okay, so now we got power. Now we got loads. Still could be better, but could be a lot worse. Okay. So let's let's let that go. Nuclear production complex has not been attacked. Fungal Pass is where we are, and 41 is looking dandy. So let's return our attentions back to nuclear production complex. It's about as beefed out as it's going to be able to get, I think. Okay, cool. And now I can have at least a couple of disassemblers. Let's have two. No power. I would explain it. Oh. Okay, let's not do that then. Let's 
do the little power generators. It looks like we're actually getting a decent chunk of good resources. Probably just have each of these feed into distributors. Okay, there we go. So now we're getting what looks to be sand. Which is interesting. Alright. And I will get one more of these. Okay, so the resources we're getting off of this aren't amazing. They're good, but they're not, like, end-all be-all. We're getting sand, though. But I can I can turn scrap into sand elsewhere. Let's see the red stuff is feeding back into the base again. It is true. Okay. Gosh, setting this up further is going to be a trial. Like our our defenses are solid. Oh, is this... This is where the small amount of sand that I do have is. This is the thing we wanted to make. Phase Weaver. Thorium and sand to make phase fabric. Okay. Well, do you just start making it here? I just realized something really silly. All right, yeah, let's let's do it here. Okay, where's the pulverizer? Pulverizer. Oh wow, there's it's small. Okay. I'm not really sure how much this I really need to utilize here. But considering I think we have virtually unlimited power, I'd be remiss not to just make the most of it. Some limited power only works when I'm not leaking it out onto the ground, but that's a separate thing. Okay. Just hook all all of this uh, stuff up. So all of these should have liquid at the very least. Okay, these are watered up. Let me see. I'm just gonna maximize the amount of scrap that I'm getting out of this. Even if I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this line. I have an idea. 
at the very least. Okay, slap those right there. Now, I could run a scrap line straight through the center, but I think that would be foolhardy. Right here. Do we? Hmm. Eh. Hmm. No. Because if I do that, the distributor kind of feeds back on itself, and I don't want to do it. Let's see. If we okay, if we give you the ratios, only if I need them. Sometimes I care. Most of the time, I don't. <laughs> ratios are cool and all, but I just kind of. This works. Okay, how many more waves do we have on this map? Good lord, a lot. I might not actually uh, finish this tonight. Like, we might just kind of stop. Because I haven't eaten in a long time, and I am getting hungry. Actually, let's cancel that. Go back here. Kind of same deal. Okay. All of these? Oh, Shell is cooking something. She knows how to get me off. That sounded weird. She knows how to get me off the computer. Feed me. Uh, let's see, not that one. There we go. So let's plonk all this into a distributor. Here we go. That's the cleaner version. I was like, I know there's a better way of doing this. I have no idea if this is actually terribly necessary at all. I really don't know how much sand I'm going to be working with. I forgot. We need thorium for this next part. So what the hell am I... Oh, right. I'm making face fabric. Okay. I gotta get off. <laughs> it's late enough. One way or another, that's a new industry chain. My head's hurting. Shell wants my attentions. So I'm gonna... I'm gonna leave this for another day.